Good morning. Welcome to Morning Good. Moments. Thank, uh, thank you for joining us today. I have a actor and a producer, uh, another actor and producer. I've had so many on the show, and he's actually been on Washington's Armor, and I've had about five different, five, six different actors and actresses from that sh that movie on, and I'm just thrilled to have another one. Wayne Matichek to Morning Moments. Oh, welcome, Wayne. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andy, for having me on. It's it's an honor to be with you. It's an honor to meet you and get to talk and get to know you. So, well, uh, yeah, glad to be here. So, tell me, tell me uh, the question I ask everybody: what What do you do, and why do you do it? Okay. Well, you know, I've been uh, doing a little bit of uh, um, producing, but mainly acting for the last eight years as a as a professional and. Um, I hope to get back into maybe some of the producing, maybe even some, some directing. A lot of people want to get behind this behind the scenes too and do that producing and directing after they get after they get the bug, don't they? Yeah, I know. It's so cool. And part of it, I think, is my artistic side of my brain that I'm in. Uh, I want to learn everything about it and the artistic parts of it, you know, and I want the best shots and everything. So even on my very first film set, they let me uh, be script supervisor along with doing a role. And uh I said, hey, can I look behind the lens? And so got to see how they're setting things up. It was very fun. Yeah, yeah, no, I love the artistic side of it. And it's brought greater appreciation for when I watch movies now, not other people's work. Yes, absolutely. So, so great. And uh, so why do you all, why do you do all this anyway? Yeah, well, it's fun. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's a lifelong dream, really. And there's a lot of reasons why, and they kind of all weave together. Um, I think I started wanting to be an actor probably around seven. Um, but being a funny guy, see, I'm the youngest in my family of four. And uh, Andy and I talked earlier, we're both uh, PKs. And so being uh, the youngest of uh, four kids with PK, yeah, I had to uh, fight to get some attention, I think, in that family. And and all, obviously, I love to do the uh, the funniest things and, and uh as the youngest and in fact we on my very first film set as well i went around the room and i said you know how any what is the birth order with uh several of the people there i think it was five out of five or maybe five out of six of the men were last borns so the youngest so i think it's a thing so we seem to like to uh bring out some laughs and get some attention maybe being the youngest so i think so some of those things started early um and around seven i became a christian um my my mother actually took the time to lead me to christ one night after we got in a car accident and from there that has changed my life and it's really set a course for my life and right around that time fess parker was a big deal fess parker and with a name like wayne uh john wayne was also probably one of the biggest deals westerns were huge back in the day and andy maybe you <laughs> remember all those westerns but um john wayne was big and so I'm sure that was probably a thing that even fed into my young mind. So I always loved watching the shows and uh, uh, at school, uh, I actually had friends who went on to be actors and we would practice like stunts and we would practice like, how do you punch it and you do a fake and then not get hit, you know, and how, do, you know, you know that, you know that when people die in a Western, they're not really dying. Oh, so we got to practice that. So we would practice who could do the dying and make it look real. Oh, you don't look so real. You look like you're pretending. Oh, you have to stop breathing. We would do all of that stuff. We do wrestling, fighting, sword fighting. So all those things were young things, young interests of mine. Um, but Fess Parker was big. And, and people have asked me, and I would say of all the people, uh, even over John Wayne, I would say Fess Parker was the guy who I'm like, yeah, I want to be like Fess Parker. And if you if you don't know, and I and I actually ran to someone who didn't know who John Wayne was, I'm like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Thought I ever knew John Wayne. But Fess Parker um, was Daniel Boone um, back in the 60s, early 70s. And so, um, yeah, he was actually six foot five. And with a grandpa who was six, uh, five foot six and a dad who was five foot 10, I'm a little kid. And I'm like, someday I want to grow up to be like that guy. You know, he had that kind of a persona. It was just kind of weird that I ended up growing up to be six foot five as well. But um, as a young kid, I'm like, I was just totally into it. And so 
um, you could go to um, YouTube and and Google the uh, the theme song, the one where he throws a tomahawk and he splits a tree with it. And as a young kid, and that's all probably you know, it, they would call it CGI today. I don't know how they did it back in the day. Some artistry. But as a young kid, you're like, whoa, you know, as a five, seven year old, whatever, uh, it just catches you. And then um, it was really a kind of a cultural thing that many remember. Um, and so you could all, you know, if you want to get a background of where I'm coming from, um, you could you could go to the, the family album, Disney's family album. You could even go Google it on YouTube with Buddy Ebsen and Fess Parker. It's an amazing show on how it was a real cultural thing. It just swept the nation back in those days. Um, fun stuff. And so that, what they did was um, action and historical drama and um, kind of like the Westerns, right? And that just caught me. And so, um, so even before I became a Christian, that was an interest. And um, as far as being an actor, that was probably my earliest thing. I was like, I want to be like, like Fess Parker or John Wayne when I get older. And so it was always a distant thing for me um, because those are the older heroes. You know, I didn't want to be a young actor or a child star or anything like that. I wanted to uh, someday do those big roles like a lot of the tall Western stars and even when I got into acting eight years ago, I remember someone told me, he's like, oh, you really, it's not going to be so easy for you to be an actor because there's no tall actors. And then I'm like, over the years I've said, you know, like, well, like a lot of the Western guys were very tall and, uh, you know, six, four for John Wayne and six, five for Fess Parker and like six, seven for James Arness, who was Matt Dillon for like, what, 15 years on Gunsmoke, which is just kind of resurging on reruns. but. Um, those were my heroes. Those were back in the day. And so for me to grow up and actually turn six foot five is like, like, how did, you know, looking at your dad and grandpa, how did that fall off? And I don't know, but I just felt back in those young years, I was saying, you might do that and you might be tall. And so it was kind of a lifelong dream. And it kind of, um, it's kind of patterned what I've done with my life. Um, I love all that activity. I love all that, um, those like stunts and active things. When I've talked with friends about uh, what they like about film, it's like they may like the um, different parts of a, of a film. I love the action. I'm all about the action. And so I've lived a very active lifestyle and love to be out in the woods, love to climb mountains, love to bike long distances. I like to do all those things and it's it, it comes back to that. And if you were to uh, Google the theme song of uh, Daniel Boone, the one where he's chopping the tree with a with a hatchet, you know, as he throws it, um, he says uh, he's Daniel Boone. He's a doer and he's a dream comer truer. And I'm just going to reveal a part of myself is I took that on at like seven years old or eight years old. It's like I want to be a doer. I want to be a dream comer truer. So, you know, if I listen to that theme song, which I might every, you know, once a year or whatever, I'm like, oh, I know why I like that because that's what I like to do. I like to do active things, um, challenging things, and and be a doer and be a dream comer truer. So for me, actually, to finally, after my kids have gotten older and out of high school and graduated, to be like, yeah, I think I can do this. I think I can go after this dream. You've you've done Washington's uh, armor, but you've got some stuff in uh, 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 post production now too. Is that is that right? A lot of things are in post production, and a lot of things wanting to do sequels. So, um, uh, yes, there's several sequels that I'm hoping to that will begin to shoot. They've been kind of like stalled out with the whole COVID and pandemic shutdown. Uh, they're working on finding funding, some of them. Some of them just kind of got a real delay. And so hopefully they're moving along. There's several of those. Um, and we'll see. We're looking forward to that. It's been a faith journey for me yeah. um, to follow God's plan. Like, did you tell me that when I was seven? I mean, I thought I wanted to do that. Is that something real? And so when it really happened, it, you know, it was a faith 
journey and, and it's been a long waiting you know it's it, and it's been very it's been very satisfying and, and, and exciting to see some of those things come true and one of the last things i wanted to say was that life can be a fantastic adventure if you're trusting him so faith is an acronym that someone told me um back in my 20s faith a fantastic adventure in trusting him you know and no matter where you are as a person no matter where you've been in your life if you would turn your life over to christ your life can change it can be an actually a fantastic adventure in trusting him so all right i I'm going to write that down and I'm going to steal that from you. That's great. Great well, stuff. Well, it's been a thing ever since, like I say, for many, many decades. So <laughs> yeah. Somebody asked me, where'd you get that saying? Like, or where, where I'd made it up? Well, I heard it years ago. My dad was a preacher. So I, I got a lots of sayings from him. So <laughs> yeah. what is it uh, you could tell people who are looking for their purpose and their plan? Well, I think that is a big thing. A lot of people are wondering and don't have a purpose or a plan. And yes, um, the answers kind of, in my opinion, all sort out when we turn our lives over to Christ. Um, it's like, we don't have a plan. We don't have a purpose, but oh, like, we come to know Christ and he give us, gives us our purpose and our plan. You know, mine was decades in advance. Um, others might come to Christ and be like, immediately moved into a ministry or moved or just given a purpose or given a freedom you know i think of the freedom the freedom that we have in christ um from sin that bond that causes bondage you know um if there's sin that's causing bondage that's holding you back that's holding you back from some of that fantastic adventure i was telling you about if you would surrender that to christ i'm not saying overcome those things on your own I'm saying surrender to Christ, and he's the one. He's the one that gives the plans. He's the one that gives the freedom. He's the one that gives the, all the help that we need. He gives us all of his divine power for everything that we need through our knowledge of knowing him. So, Well, look look Wayne up on the IMBD and see what see the movies he's been in and where he's, what he's doing and what's uh, what's uh, on the horizon for him him to be re be released? He may have already done them and waiting to be released. Uh, see what's there for him. And uh, as we get ready to close today, not only do I want you to keep your tabs and keep your eyes on Wayne, what God's got for him, but right now for this moment, as soon as this interview is over, I, I would like for you to take the time and pray for Wayne. Pray that God would richly bless him continue to use him on and off the set, wherever he may go, wherever he finds his hands to do, he'll it be pleasing to the Lord and that God would just go, uh, use him in a great and mighty way. You know, Wayne needs your prayers, folks, and you need the practice. So pray that <laughs> God, pray that God would use him in, in a great mighty way. Thank you, Wayne, for being on Morning Moments today. Oh, it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing to get to know you and to get to share a little bit about myself. Thank you so much, Andy. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. And if you would, keep coming back for some more Morning Moments and may God richly bless you.